Did you know that January is now the biggest month for people to pop the question? It kicks off the race to start all that planning for the walk down the aisle in the summer. And if you can survive those details, the invitations and who sits where and those bridesmaids dresses, well then what could possibly go wrong on the big day itself? Well, as you're about to see, just about anything. Amy Robach took this look at disasters on the way to saying, I do. Ravena Co was the kind of bride that prided herself on the details. In general, I'm just a bit of a perfectionist. Which made what happened three days before her New Orleans wedding last October just a little bit more challenging. This is a big destination wedding, 150 people. You arrive in New Orleans, you get to the hotel. What do you see? Um. Within the first 15 seconds of walking into our venue, I was crying on the front steps. The steps where she was supposed to exchange vows with the love of her life, David, surrounded by a lush garden and manicured lawn. But there's no lawn. It was a And there head. are no bushes. And then they told us that they would be happy to put down a green carpet. By that they meant AstroTurf as the lawn. It was as if the Big Easy had rolled out a muddy welcome mat to the wedding house of horrors. The kitchen closed for renovations. The balcony where they planned to take photos also closed for renovations. And then that's when I went nuts. At that point, David storms out of the hotel and is like, we are not getting married here. And I'm like, Oh, sweet Jesus, Mary and Joseph. I've never seen him like that. Like, I'm the one that has the meltdowns. And I was like, oh, this is going to get really ugly really soon. And it did. The flowers came in from the floral company, and about a third of them were totally dead. It was not a good day. And this is where the wedding goes from bad to worse to downright surreal. A bridesmaid lost her dress in transit. David's three-piece suit arrived three sizes too big. Then the night before her big day, Ravena clocked her head on a door. When she woke on her wedding day, it was clear, beautiful, and steaming hot. They tried to keep their cool until they started taking photos. And by the third one, I'm like, David, I'm gonna pass out. We look straight miserable. She looks like she's about to die. And about 45 seconds later, we're like, okay, that's enough with pictures. Everyone prepares themselves for maybe one little hiccup or one thing to go wrong. But it sounds like everything that could go wrong did go wrong. It really did. Ravena and David might be Hall of Famers in the Wedding Nightmare Club. But mishaps happen more often than you might think. And when they do, they're often shared on the internet for the world to see. If you're in the middle of planning your own wedding right now, cover your eyes. From soaking wet ceremonies, hold on, Dorothy, to photo shoot fails, unruly flower girls, and falling fondant. YouTube is a video encyclopedia of wedding disasters. But they aren't for the faint of heart. One couple just last week had a bumpy start to their marriage. When the hot air balloon carrying their entire wedding party came down for a not so smooth landing. Yikes. Don't want your vows to go viral? Listen up. Diane Valentine, celeb wedding planner and host of WeTV's I Do Over, has seen it all. She was the genius behind the big name betrothals of Usher, Tony Braxton, and Evelyn Lozada, to name a few. What do you anticipate can go wrong at a wedding? Nervous brides. Uh, nervous grooms. Nervous grooms. <laughs> family fights. And too much alcohol. <laughs> always happens. Not to mention weather problems. Weather. Mother Nature's always you, a big what you if. You can never bet on Mother Nature. Evelyn Lozada from Basketball Wise and Chad Johnson got married this summer in St. Martin. Gorgeous estate, gorgeous property, right? We had thunderstorms all day. All day. Chairs were soaking wet. The grass was soaking wet. Finally, 
The skies parted about an hour before the ceremony. And then an earthquake happens. What? An earthquake. How the <laughs> hell does an earthquake happen? And apparently that's not good luck on your wedding day. <laughs> apparently. You say a lot of wedding disasters can be prevented. Yes. Women say they want these enormous heels on their wedding day. It's an absolute don't because you've got to wear that heel all day and all night. Now, Amy, I don't know about you, but my mother would be appalled to see a bride at her reception in her bare feet <clears throat> or her flip-flops. That might have happened to me. <laughs> You're in violation. And I had a huge blister on my honeymoon. It was, hor it was so unattractive. You're in violation. So what I tell women is if you insist on wearing that high four-inch heel. Four inches? <laughs> Try five. Or a little higher, a little higher. If they're not comfortable, buy a half size bigger, put on a thick pair of socks with them. No one will ever see it, and you'll thank me for it later. But Diane's top tip is remain calm. For a bride, I try to tell them is remember what is most important. The day is about love. Does that usually work? It does. The key is to calm them down, because if it escalates, there's no stopping it. And usually the bridesmaids are awful for that. Yeah, they're awful. They feed into it and feed into it. Oh my God, honey, what are we gonna do? Oh my God, I'm so sorry for you. Oh, it's gonna be so bad. It's such a disaster. You know, I have to come and say, hey, 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 pull it together. None of that. Stop those tears, I'm here. And while Ravena and David didn't have a wedding planner like Diane to save them, they did have each other. The hotel got them their garden in time and discounted everyone's bill. Let me introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. David Curry. My wedding was beautiful despite all the fiascos that went along with it, but it's one day and this is the rest of our lives. So, in the grand scale of things, eh, what you gonna do?